Hello everyone, in this quick video I wanted to give you guys a quick update on one of the most important vulnerabilities that's been haunting us and it's related to the IBM WebSphere server uh, remote code execution and it's called the vulnerability ID CV2020-4589 uh, this vulnerability was uh, last updated yesterday which is August 12th by IBM and it says this vulnerability has been uh, addressed and now you can apply patches to fix the problem. Now if you're using any of version 7, 8, 8.5 or 9 of WebSphere application server you are affected. Uh, so all you need to do uh, for the remediation if you have uh, different versions for like 7.0 through 7.0045 you just upgrade to this and then apply the interim fix PH27414 pretty much if you're using version 8 go for the fix PH27414 uh, for for 8.5 through 8.5517 go for this fix 27414 pretty much the same fix you just need to upgrade and uh, uh, or actually either you can do this or you can also the other way to solve is this apply fix pep 9.055 or later so so these two options that I have these are either or so either you can do this or the other one and I'll give you the link where you can go and find a little bit more details about it uh, and here's the link so all you need to do is just uh, click on the link and it should take you to the page where you need to be and I'll provide the link in the uh, in the video itself and if you look at it this uh, WebSphere application server is vulnerable to a remote code execution vulnerability and again here's the CV ID and as I said it's been rated pretty pretty high so 8.1 is the severity uh, and again uh, here are the servers that 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 are affected and vulnerable and here's a little bit details of what you need to do and you have the links to each of these uh, patches where you can just click on it and uh, go there and download the file that you need for your particular version that you're using in your environment and there's no workaround and no other mitigation that's available so I would highly recommend that you test it out in your uh, dev and test region and roll it out to production as quickly as possible and again change history 12 August so yesterday uh, they have released and uh, said now you can use this to fix the problem all right go ahead install your patch and be more secure thanks for watching